an honor to meet you. It's a pleasure. Please tell us, uh, how did you like the show? Um, I loved it. Last year was my very first time here, and so it was really fun to come back, kind of knowing what it was going to be like. And uh, I had a great time. I got to see lots of friends of mine that are different parts of the world that usually we just email. And today, I, you know, and this week I got to see them in person and stuff and, and saw lots of cool stuff uh, gear-wise and uh, had a great time. And I, I how do you it. feel to perform in here, you know, for people from the industry and for the people who came here just to see everything that was, you know, arranged for them? I, I, I'm happy playing no matter what. Um, so it was great. We got to, I, I'm doing a, a thing called Jostle, and it's Jonas Helberg and Steve Bailey and myself doing a three bass trio thing. And this time we managed to get Chester Thompson to join us on drums. And it's the first time Chester and I have played since the last Phil Collins tour in 2004. So that was great. And we had wonderful crowds for that. And then we would play here in the Warwick booth and do sign autographs. So it was fun. I mean, I, I really come here really more than anything for just the enjoyable aspect of hanging with musicians, uh, you know, gears. I, no. If I may ask you, because I'm a yeah. big Phil Collins fan, please tell us how how was it to you know perform on the same stage with Phil Collins, uh, playing his songs and being a part of all of that of this you know greatness that he is. It was the best thing I've ever done. I mean, I, I love Phil dearly as a friend and as a musician. Um, he's probably one of the best drummers I've ever worked with. Um, his sensibility of pop music is, 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 I don't think there's anybody better. And his, and his work ethic in terms of how we would do the concerts and put it all together was really, really uh, beyond uh, anybody I've ever worked with. So I loved it. I, I wish we were on the road right now. Um, and how did you get the geek with Phil? Um, uh, I, I had sex with him. Great, yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> That's the best way. No, uh, Phil, and, <laughs> Phil and I met uh, working on a Lee Rittenauer album, I think in 1979 or, or so. And we hit it off and he called me to do his first album. And I was already committed to working with James Taylor at that point. But I said, I'd love to work with you at some point. So he called me in 1984 to do the No Jacket album. And then in 85, we did the tour for that. And then we did the But Serious album and the But Serious tour. And then schedules and things changed and through the 90s we weren't able to work together and he called me back in 2000 and we, and we finished up the first final farewell tour together and, right. and I don't know what he's going to do now but uh, as of right now he's just laying low and he just wrote a book on the Alamo in Texas he's considered one of the great authorities on the Alamo now and that's his passion so he, problems with his uh, hearing well, he, had some, he had an infection a virus infection in one ear and it, he l lost probably half his hearing in that ear. But I mean, he never sang out of tune or anything, even with that. So it wasn't. It, it was. It's a. It's a drag, but it's not catastrophic. Yeah, it's phenomenal. And what are your plans for the for this year for upcoming year? Um, it's been an incredibly busy year. I've done 11 albums so far this year. Um, who? Uh, all kinds of different people back in the states. And then Monday, I'm starting another project in L.A. A week from Monday, I'm flying to London for four days of rehearsals on a project called ERA, uh, this guy Eric Levy, and then we go from there and our concerts are going to be in Moscow, so we go to Moscow. So we're not for, slowing down at all? No, no, I'm, I'm right now, I don't have a day off until the middle of May. And my last question, because I'm sure that many people are wondering about that, why the beard? Why not? <laughs> Saves me a lot of time and money. <laughs> but you had it for a long time. You know, it's just, it's one of those things, I don't even think about it until I walk by a window and I go, who the hell's that old man in there? And then, oh, it's me. Um, you haven't changed for years, so. No, well, the thing is, it, everybody goes, God, you never change. The best thing is you start out looking really old and then people don't think you've changed. If you're like a young stud and you get old, everybody goes, oh, it's pretty sad, he got old. Um, but, I, you know, it's just like, it's funny. I just, I don't think about it, you know, I'm just, I'm just me. You know. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. You're yeah, a great pleasure. player. Hello and to everybody in Poland. I'm thank Poland. you very much for that. My, my mother's side of the family is from Poland. Really? Yeah. So I have good musicians I, from I Poland. I have a love for Poland. Yeah. Thank you very so, much. My See pleasure. you next year. Okay.